Hi Gemini, welcome to my channel. We're doing your daily. This is the uh, oh no, not daily. This is your bi-weekly. Sorry, October one to fifteen. Okay, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Okay, let's see what's going on first with you guys. October one to fifteen. Let's see here. Okay, it's your bi-weekly. Okay, we managed to Gemini you're getting an offer. You have four of ones and two of ones over here. Okay, offer a relationship. Big movement in October, 1 to 15, Jupiter goes to Scorpio in Vedic Sidereal, not tropical, okay? We do Vedic here. Okay. Let me see. Okay. We haven't started. Oh, did we start? No, not yet. But you might get, um because it's very auspicious for you for to getting um, some sort of payout also during this transit. About job opportunities, you know. You might get a promotion, Okay. But it start October, you know, it's a year cycle. It also goes retrograde, just saying. Okay. But here we go. Okay. Let's see. Sun, Moon, Rising. Um, but if, I'm talking about Gemini Moon. Okay. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Here we go. Eight of Wands. Uh, you could be traveling with someone. Or an offer to travel. And this is your K2. K2 is a meteor. It's fat, like you know. It's an energy where you know, like you you get there, but you get tired. You know that kind of energy. You get success, and then you feel like drained. You know, this that kind of energy. You could be communicating with someone right now, back and forth, and then you just get drained. Also, it's almost like it goes too fast. So take it a little bit. Um, you know, one notch slower with this person. Okay, because there there's even messages coming in and out between the two of you right now. It's very positive, of course. Let me see the other person. Queen of Cups can be a Cancerian. You could be a Gemini Cancerian. Because I started with Cancer. That's good. You could be a Cusper. Expect a message of love. Someone cares about you. Is good. This is also someone who's learning to trust their intuition. And it's almost like your intuition. I feel here like it's it's so on point. Like you get it. Like you just know. That's this. This is this part. Queen of Cups. Intuition is on point. Trusting yourself, loving yourself is also on point with the Queen of Cups. Ace of Pentacles, offer. Job opportunity, I told you. A payout. Okay. Uh -huh. The Ace of Pentacles is also like, I want to date you. This is my coffee card, right? Where, you know, you guys can spend time. Hey, you want to go out for something? You know, But this is like a, um, this is the part where it's just a light kind of date, okay? It's not, you know, the whole shebang yet. Not yet. I haven't found the card for the shebang. Okay. This is an offer. Can be a new earth sign at their meeting with also. Let me see. Another person. Ace of Swords. So there's an open communication about love. This is very positive. This is also fe um, this is feeling that you can trust this person. It's good. <laughs> Everybody's energy is good. I like it. So this is... Um, this Ace of Swords is... You're not cutting to the bull, but you're try you're finding out that someone loves you. Mm -hmm. There you go. Now you know. So if you do go out with this person, you realize and you find out, ooh, ooh this person loves me, and they're 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 outspoken. And you have the Ace of Pentacles, Six of Swords. So you can be um you know travelers involved in water, you know, meaning they're across waters, across the seas. They see you. Um, it's an invite. Remember, Ace of Swords for me is a visa application, government application, passport application, whatever application, even an app, <laughs> an application. <laughs> okay, you guys probably met each other in an app. Mm -hmm. What's this bagel? What's that bagel? Everyday bagel? I don't know, but that's that energy here. Well, there you go. As above, so below. This is Sag energy temperance is one seven now, okay. Uh, for a Gemini ascendant, seventh house is partnership, so Sag energy. So someone here in your seventh house is very much um, can be strongly a Sagittarian trait because you have eight of ones. Eight of ones is a Sag also. They're far. They like to travel. Is this person's energy? And this is someone who wants to work it out with you. This is someone who loves you. And across the water, 
If you are also trying to meet someone new, very auspicious. You go, Glen Coco. That's what I say. Mm hmm. It's a Pentacles with Ace of Swords. Go get it. Go get it. What you waiting for? Okay. They love you. And there is open communication right now, which is very, very good. Okay? So, Gemini, I'm going to continue this reading. Sorry about that. Okay. This is your bi weekly. I'll see you guys again. That's an omen. You gotta, you go. That man's going. You go, Glen Coco. Okay? I'll see you guys again. Bye.